I think we can win the IPL. Simple as that. I'm, uh, you know, I might as well go on record saying that now because that's what I'm here for. That's what the players are here for. Very nice to be out in the fresh air. I must admit, um, quarantine and I don't get on very well. I don't think that's one thing I've learnt over the last or uh, well, last couple of years now. But look, awesome to be back. Um, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of new faces. Um, but nothing changes with our cricket. You know, our session tonight was was awesome. So it is really really good to be here. We still got probably six players maybe to join the squad over the next uh, the next few days. The Aussie boys are in quarantine. The South Africans are leaving tonight, and Shikhar will join us in a few days' time as well. But um, yeah, as I said, great to be back out in the park and, and great to be back around the chats over the last few days. Um, and we'll have more and more chats as this, um, even this next week actually, because it's, I think if we can get most of the talking done um, with Rishabh about his captaincy leading into the first game, then we don't have to worry about it as the tournament starts. The last thing you want is to be overloading the captain with all sorts of information once the tournament's underway. So, look, it's a big, it's a big part of my job. It's a big part of the other coaches' jobs, but also the senior players. I think it's a big, it's a big part and a big role for them as well to get behind him and help him where they need to, not only at training and also you know, once the game starts. He's, he's going to need a little bit of support, but you know, what I know about Rishab is he understands the game really well. He's very strong in his own thoughts and opinions, and I think that will hold him in great stead as far as... Well, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm surprised, because I, I've known how talented Rishab is since the moment I laid eyes on him. And you know, when he, when he got back into the test team in Australia, I actually made a, a comment before a ball was bowled on the second test match that this will be the unearthing of a, a 15-year test player for India. I was that confident in him, um, of what he'd been through. So um, I think he's on track to doing that. You know, his, his cricket the last, what is it, six or seven months has been nothing, nothing short of breathtaking and outstanding and you know being compared now to some of the, the great wicket keeper batsmen that have played the game so you know and the other reason we made him captain is I think extra responsibility is going to sit really well with him I think he's that sort of person that, that likes the responsibility wants to be the main man wants to be the leader and so I'm really excited to see how he's going to go with it as I said it's a, it will we'll help him through but honestly don't think um I mean it's still a little bit tricky because everyone's at different phases as well right like you know Marcus Stornis will arrive, hasn't played a game for 30 odd days. You know, Action will join the group again, hasn't played a game for five or six weeks. So, and then you've got guys that have just come out of international games that have. So you've got to, you've just got to stagger their preparation and their training. You know, we we can't expect everyone to train the same way because some guys are, are ready to play right now, and some guys need the next next week to get up both um, you know physically and technically to be right for the first game. So once again, that's part of our job as part of the, the physios and the, and the, the fitness um, staff's job to make sure that we're paying attention to what they're feeling physically but also what they need. I think we can win the IPL, simple as that. I'm, uh, you know, I might as well go on record saying that now because that's what I'm here for. That's what the players are here for. You know, we, we've had our chat today. It's all about winning and how we can go one step further from last year. But the other, the other important thing for me as well right now with this group is it's a very different group than last year. And we, we, what happened last year doesn't matter. We've got, we've got to work out a way this year that we can win enough games to qualify and then, and then win the final. So, yeah, so we're here, we're here to win. I think our squad is, uh, I think it is a stronger squad than it was last year. I think, you know, the backup players that we went after in the auction we got, I'm, I'm thrilled with the players that we've got here. And everyone that is sitting here in this group were, were players that we actually targeted in the auction. And you don't walk away from any auctions with that working out that way for you. So every team now is going to be sitting back in their hotel saying, oh, we've got a great squad, we've got a better squad than last year, but it doesn't mean anything. It's, it's, about, it's about how well you prepare and then what you bring on game day. And that's, that, that, you know, that's what I'll drill into these guys every day. You know, bring me some attitude, bring some effort, bring some commitment. And if you do that, then I think the sky's the limit for this team.